Hi, it's Marieta. Thanks so much for tuning in. In this video, I want to focus on how can you get a green card from your E2 visa. Coming up. All right, guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you are notified when I release new content. And in this video, I want to focus on basically five ways how you can go from E2 investor visa to a green card. So stick around till the end because this is going to be very informative and comprehensive video so let's get started with option number one this is actually my favorite one because you don't need to invest millions you don't need to actually even apply for perm labor certification and it's called eb2 national interest waiver so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be linking here a video for you that is specifically diving deeper into eb2 national interest waiver if you want to learn more but basically you need to meet these requirements you either need to show that you have advanced degree or you are extraordinary in your field so this is a uh, number one requirement number two once you meet this requirement you go deeper and you need to show that your business or your activity is in the national interest because it's in national interest waiver you don't need to apply for perm labor certification your business activity has substantial merit and national importance and you are perfectly capable and well positioned to carry on this particular business so these are the main requirements for eb2 national interest waiver for those who want to learn more i have upcoming webinar training free training where you can learn how you can get your eb2 national interest waiver and the link is below this video moving on number two is EB5 green card EB5 green card is a good green card for those who are already obviously if you're issue investor you already invested substantial amount of capital it can be anywhere from 50 hundred thousand ish all the way up to whatever one million dollars if you have already invested your funds these funds will be actually able to count towards your investment so for example you apply for your two visa with two hundred thousand dollars and in order for you to obtain eb5 you need to invest minimum nine hundred thousand dollars or 1.8 million if it's direct investment into your own enterprise if your investment i mean if your business is in area where there is high unemployment rate and these days by the way high unemployment rate is in more places more states than it used to be because of the covid 19 and therefore you have actually higher chance to actually establish great business with just $900,000 investment. So that's number one. Number two, if you have already established the business in the past, you can actually use the investment for E2 visa and count it towards the EB5 investment. You also need to show that you have hired 10 full-time people. So 10 full-time jobs must be created within the first year when you receive conditional EB5 green card. Again, I'm going to be linking here another video for you if you want to dig deeper, deeper and you want to learn more about EB-5. Number three is EB-2 advanced degree. So if you're someone who has advanced degree and if you are someone who obviously this advanced degree is from U.S. university or maybe you're a member of profession, you could um, apply for EB2 advanced degree, but in that case you would need PERM, which is a labor certification. And that usually takes between eight to two years to obtain, depending. Uh, everybody has a different experience. And once you obtain the PERM, then you apply for your green card. Number four is actually EB1C. Now, this particular green card is possible. Typically, it is is issued for people, international managers, executive who are already on L visa, L1A specifically. And if you are right now on E2 visa and you want to apply for this particular green card, you would need to show that your business is actually international. So that being said, you actually have either the mother company, the headquarter or affiliated company overseas in your home country for example where you are also employed for at least or you were employed for at least one year in preceding three years and in that case you could potentially apply for eb1c after you actually were managing uh, running a business in the united states in that affiliated office for at least one year 
The great things about V1C is that you don't need again to apply for PERM, which is the labor certification process. So this way it's faster. Also, if you want to learn more and you want to dig deeper into this, make sure to join that free webinar training. Link is going to be below this video. So these are the main ways to get to your green card if you are E2 visa investor. Additional to this, there is another one which is called EB1A. EB1A is a green card for extraordinary achievers. You have to show that you really are extraordinary in your business. We're talking about E2 visa, right? So you are already a business owner. And you need to really show that you are that exception. You receive awards and so on. And in that case, you could qualify for also for EB1A. So guys, these are basically five ways you can get your green card to United States if you are on E2 visa. One thing you need to be aware of, E2 visa, it's a very special visa that basically doesn't really allow you to do change of status in United States. And if you do want to change your status, you actually need to um, prepare a waiver and file it as well with your other paperwork for a green card if you are changing the status because otherwise you would be actually breaking that treaty. Uh, E2 visa investors are under special treatment because it is governed by the inter international treaty between your country and the United States. So keep that in mind and I highly recommend that you work with expert because if you actually don't sign that waiver, it might impact you in a negative way in the future. For example, if your green card wasn't approved and you need to actually apply for extension of your E2 visa. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need to dig deeper and you want to schedule a call with me, you can certainly do that. Link is going to be below this video, how you can book a consultation with me. And also, like I said, I will be sharing useful resources below this video in description for those who want to obtain more information on E2 visa, how to get a green card and also maybe possibly L visa, because these are the green card types as well, visa types for entrepreneurs. So thank you so much for tuning in and stay tuned for my upcoming videos. See you soon. Bye-bye.